Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Gaming Stadium's Anniversary Month featuring Hearthstone, Dollar Bills, and Wicked Good here to bring you through the top 16 on through to the grand final. Just want to do a big quick thank you to both Brasky and Swaybay for getting us this far. Wicked Good, we have Old Boy versus Shinigami uh, ready to go. Bands are already in, and it looks like it's going to be, we're going to get to see different stuff yet again. I know you mentioned this OTK yeah. Demon Hunter in the break. Yeah, it's it's um, going to be uh, like the, the decks that would really differentiate the lineups both got banned, a priest from Old Boy and a spell mage from Shinigami. Mm -hmm. uh, both players bringing Miracle Rogue and Nazoth Rush Warrior, one of the yeah. new developments with the mini set now that uh, Crash Lord of Turtling <laughs> is a card, um, can go ahead and get a burst of armor and get that back and another weapon that can take you through the late game. Um, and the Demon Hunters... Shinigami has the, the Death Rattle Demon Hunter, which is kind of the new hotness mm -hmm. with some of the new cards, with uh, sp specifically Fell Rattler that came in in the new set. And uh, oh boy, going back to an old standard OTK Demon Hunter. Yeah. So that's going to be the main difference between these two lineups. And OTK Demon Hunter being one of the, we were just talking about that, you know, off stream before, the, before we came on, that it's one of these decks that has kind of a middling to low win percentage, but... The people who play it, who are confident enough to bring it to tournaments, they know how to play it, and they they are going to buff the odds as far as what the stats say. Oh, absolutely. That's one of those decks where you really get to distinguish yourself as an OTK Demon Hunter player, because there are times when you have to do a lot of math incredibly fast, because if you yeah. don't have the win, which can come as early as turn six, if skulls hit the right thing, or if your philosophies land correctly, fell scream or timing, stuff like that, you can win as early as turn six. So you have to start doing multiples of three, multiples of six, multiples yeah. of 12, and then adjusting for your mana and mana costs and how those will change. And then if you don't have the win on the spot, you then have to take a long turn, probably drawing cards. How yeah. many different resources can you spend to stay alive? And just this is just a long walk to say to your point, if you're great at this deck, your numbers are totally different from what the odds from what the odds makers might have you believe in a particular matchup. Oh, we're already ready. Let's do yep. it. And and we're gonna see it. <laughs> we're going. We're we're starting. Oh, we are. Oh no, I'm sorry. I thought we were starting off with that, but it looks like the uh, the demon hunter from Shinigami is what we're gonna start with, um, which is the death rattle demon hunter. This is running Alar as the elemental in that list as well. Um, so we're seeing that kicked away, trying to get a little bit cheaper. Eladari Inquisitor, the finisher for the deck, not exactly what you're looking for in the opening hand, but, uh, you know, I guess it's a little bit of comfort knowing that you have it, access to it at some point. Oh, certainly. And the the amount of threat that Illidari Inquisitor can generate, you just can't. Like, actually, there were some people who looked at the Nazoth adjustment going from 10 to 9 mana and immediately thought to themselves, with Nazoth costing 9, I can Nazoth, get back an Illidari Inquisitor, and still have enough mana to hero power. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> that's uh, just one of the ways that and, that deck got strong. And a deck was born. <laughs> that's, that's basically it. Yeah, I mean, it's been kind of evolving with that. I mean, that changed in his off along with, with Fell Rattler, which is a really good addition to the lineup. Um, just being able to rush something out and then it's it's effectively swipe on a stick. Certainly. is really what Fell Rattler is. And it, it's very effective, though. Very, very slow start for Shinigami. No, um, does not have any copies of Razor Borer. This list even runs Sneaky Delinquent, but none of those on the on the horizon. And just trying to get online with turn three, but you, you don't really want to fall behind a Rush Warrior if you can help it. No, and this is actually going to open the gates for Old Boy to go ahead and just play a Parade Leader. You know, if you don't, you're talking about Razor Borer, we're also not seeing the... Actually, here's Fell Rattler. One of the, one of the new cards going to be able yep. to it, remove that Parade Leader, but Old boy, I'm sure was feeling more free to just play out a parade leader because we didn't see a razor bore on turn two. Yeah, and you know that there are rushers there, but I mean, even if you have, if you get to answer a fell rattler straight up, you're kind of okay with that. There's not really much on the on the horizon for old boy to really be able to take advantage of that uh, of that parade leader anyway. I mean, are picking up a, a bumper car now, but you know that, and that's going to be good with the conditioning that's in hand along with the athletic studies, but. But you know, I mean, sometimes you just throw out a parade leader onto and make your opponent deal with it, and that's that's what uh, that's what old boy did here. And continually able to deal with it is Shinigami, able to find the fishy flyer yeah. right off, you know, living off the top right there, and able to control the uh, the bumper car. But now we see one of the most powerful things. Uh, obviously, it's not going to happen this turn. The conditioning is not yet ranked up. But getting those one mana one one rushers to get buffed up with conditioning. So otherwise, old boy was looking at kind of an awkward, you know, turn five going into before the turtle comes online. Do you ever take the Anchorman and just... I mean, it's kind of between the Anchorman and the, and the Broomstick. The Broomstick is kind of appealing with Crescent Hand. True. 
But yeah, just getting this Stonewall Anchorman on board, and that's what I was about to say, like Shinigami's dealing with the threats that are on board for Old Boy, but they're not getting Bored back. No. And and you really do need Bored as the Death Rail Demon Hunter. Like he really wants to slam this Alar here. Like would love to. Oh yeah. But that's not, I mean, that's just answered, right? That you run the you run the Stonewall Anchorman or one of the other Rush minions that that old boy knows that is an old boy's hand. Just run that in, run the weapon into the O3, and then the Alar is gone. So Alar is not really a, that much of an option. And then everything else is kind of floating mana. You, you're kind of getting an awkward, you don't have a, a way to just kind of use your mana efficiently other than using the hero power. Like Renowned Performer doesn't actually clear anything. Um, you can value trade off this 2-2, but you're not really getting anywhere. No. I guess you could like you could like, you know, Spectral Fly or Hero Power to take care of the 4-5, but again, you're you're behind on board again. And there's, right? and there's no way to just get that. Uh, one of the interesting side effects of Rush Warrior, every single card having that Rush text on it is there's just no way to both remove their, you know, remove their tempo whilst developing your old, your own is extremely difficult unless you have things like Broomsticks, which Shinigami is not playing. Uh, looks like Shinigami is actually reaching for the Spectral Flyer to potentially put four damage into this stone wall. You definitely don't want to help Warrior draw before turn five, though, because you know they want to draw. Like, Warrior wants to draw before the conditioning. Yeah. And he actually is going to remove the Ganarg to have a 4-1 on board and try try to have just some stats on board going into what Shinigami is hoping is not a good conditioning turn. Ooh. It's going to be I, sad. I, don't hate, I, I really don't hate running this bumper car in and then conditioning after. Oh yeah, absolutely. Just maximizing yeah. the number of uh, bumper car drivers and just yeah. that makes your conditioning so much better. I'll, we're about one parade leader, one playmaker away from just going absolutely to party town as, as this, old boys this, rush this is just This is just Disney World on Christmas Eve is what this is right now in, in old boy's hand. Just a bunch of angry people waiting in line. <laughs> a lot of people, none of them have the fast pass. <laughs> just uh, <laughs> waiting to try to get a chance to do something. And Shinigami, you know, you're talking about how the the mana was awkward the options are awkward that i'm sad to say has not changed <laughs> right like it the, really hasn't uh i kind of like I mean, the I, the performer and razor bore but it's still yeah. not really moving the needle I, I mean it's either the i mean the razor bore at least will pull out the sneaky delinquent when it dies and that'll that'll have guaranteed initiative because they're really other than samuro which is not in um Oh, no, it is in it is in uh, Shinigami in, in Old Boy's hand, not his hand in his deck. Sorry. Mm -hmm. um, so there is a Samuro, but other than that, there's not really any way to clear the sneaky delinquent. Um, I'm not sure how much you necessarily care as Old Boy right now because you've got a lot of good options here. You can just draw, um, though that does kind of give the board back. Putting out a 511 Crush does not seem unappealing or you can just throw down a bunch of three three riders and a crab rider to, to keep board and clear this up a any of those are kind of uh, you know valid options i guess we can draw first and then see what we get yeah um, if we don't want this four or five to just go face i, I kind of like the sound of the crab rider and just going ahead and going wide because shinigami's board wipe options are basically fell rattlers oh, right the, the swipe on okay maker. well if you're gonna draw a playmaker then i guess we can hold off <laughs> on playing everything okay. and just go ahead and crash lord of turtling this turn uh yeah <laughs> was, uh, you, you do want you do kind of want to get the value out of the out of the axe before the crash dies um you know that is a that is a valid concern like that this is damage that would be wasted by this crash dying now, but I mean, oh, what, oh, 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 let's do it. Grabs Alex Straza. Oh my gosh, that's a plus ten, plus ten on Mutanus, and that is the biggest, angriest Mutanus. Uh, I guess in an earlier series we saw Mutanus also eat a Death Wing. That's the caliber of Mutanus we have. Eaten an aspect of destruction and or life. Mutanus, killer of gods. And and, and that was a one in seven, like everything. I mean, not that these are small minions, but I mean, you know, they're very likely to get a three three. And all of a sudden, Shinigami's managed to flip this board. Though Playmaker with a bunch of with a bunch of riders can clean up a lot of a lot of damage here, but certainly. And then the way they interact with the parade leader as well means that these yeah. are going to be five and seven attack a Dark Moon rider. So it's actually just going to take two tokens uh, as long as there's enough board space, which of course there is. Old boy has slain gods in his time. <laughs> So it's going to be an, a, a giant Mutanus, but handled by just a couple of those angry people waiting in line. And yeah, 
this is the, I mean, this, this is, this is the cue on, uh, on Snow White's, uh, bumper, uh, mining car, you right. know, for two hours, right? <laughs> Everybody is just, that's what it looks like. Uh, oh, must that's withdraw. It. Should have come and must withdraw. And, yeah. you know, one of the things we were talking about with regards to that death rattle demon hunter, you know, there's a bunch of, there's a little bit of greed in there with the Alar. We mentioned yeah. actually on turn five, right? That Alar love to play Alar on five. But yeah. kind of drew the deck sideways, wasn't, you know, had the mid game without actually having the early game tools to grasp a board beforehand. Yeah, not having the not having the Razor Boars, not having the um, not having the Razor Fen Beastmasters that can kind of continue that pressure. Right. Like that's mm -hmm. how you want to draw the draw the deck. You play the Razor Boar, it brings out the Beastmaster, the Beastmaster dies, it brings out something else. Right. Like you constantly have pressure and didn't find any of those early on to Shinigami and then it just it you see what happens especially it's another deck that really wants to hold board and keep it when they can and you can't it's very hard to fight from behind as, as a demon hunter but gonna go over to um gonna go over to the rush warrior of their own is Shinigami and the miracle robe now for old boy and the, here we're gonna get to see so the the differences between the two warrior lists are uh, very are very slim, but Shinigami has a little bit of some new stuff with a single copy of Arc Druid Narelex lurking in the wings. We'll see if the the slumbering dreaming druid is going to be able to make an appearance and actually have an effect uh, on the game. Meanwhile, as you mentioned earlier, old boy on the Miracle Rogue, just uh, looking for early game stuff, and I'm interested to see what comes off of this Vanessa Van Cleef specifically. See if yeah. old boy's going to be able to snag anything useful off of that. Yeah, a little bit of a slow hand here for Old Boy, but you know you do you have a little bit of time as the Miracle Rogue to get started. The 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 Nizoth Warrior ta sometimes takes a little bit of time to spin up, though that that two mana Rakara may uh, say otherwise. Though playing out this Foxy Fraud just with the Vanessa Van Cleef now to get bored and get an Athletic Studies is a pretty proactive way to start. Given the rest of the texture of the hand, definitely like that play from Old Boy here just to to kind of stave off because because what could have happened here is, I mean, you don't know what's coming off the athletic studies, but this two-man Rakara could have just come down and stuck. And then you you start to get into awkward plays like having to, uh, having to like, wicked stab and and put up a dagger or whatever, and, and you don't want to be doing that. So just a, just a Ganarg and then a, a Crab Rider to clear the 3-2 um, from Shinigami in response. Gosh, using that Crab Rider just to clear a 3-2. And the Foxy Fraud was basically free, right? I mean, obviously it cost yeah. a card, but its ability to just come out as a 3-2 and still have Vanessa Van Cleef stick around, it really just shows how slow Imprisoned Ganarg is. Just have to wait so yeah. long for that axe. Dark Moon Rabbit, the gamer in me says Dark Moon Rabbit. I, That's not the responsible I, choice. Not, not, not this time. <laughs> not this I, time. I, there, are, there are times. I don't think this is time. This is not the time. Especially, especially Overlord Runthak in, in this list where you're, you're going to have a lot of minions in hand at some point. Um, Run that can be very strong in, in the Miracle Rogue off of the athletic studies that they stole from the from the warrior. Oh, certainly. And the ability to just rack up those one and two and three cost minions. You know, a lot of them are not very statistically interesting. You know, prize plunder, a two, one, one thief, a one, yeah. two, that kind of stuff. All of a sudden, those remain value generators. But then you add a couple rounds of Run that buffs to them and they get all of a sudden you have to respect them as a rush warrior. Yeah. I mean, it also it makes the Octobots harder to kill off immediately without prepping the frenzy, right? So that, that's valuable as well. Absolutely. And, and very awkward here for Shinigami again, like uh, waiting for stuff to come online. The weapon doesn't come on for another turn. The Rakara isn't big enough to kill this two three, and just gonna hero power and pass. Yeah, that is a low, dare I say, lowest possible tempo turn in the form of the heal and pass. Yeah. And Runthak is just going to come on down as a 3-6. Uh, you know, old boy has seen, obviously no conditions have been played. You'd rather wait till turn five. Even with the axe coming out, there has to be yeah. three additional points of rushing damage. And you're going to spend a Rokara? I don't think so. I don't, no, I don't the, think the, so. The, mo the, the Ganarg at least is a demon, which helps the Ten Trasher come out for four mana. So at least you're able to clear this Runthak before it can do anything. But... I mean, having to spend two swings into that does not feel good. No. And and allowing yeah. Vanessa to basically two for one you kind of not not yeah. exactly, but it's you know Jenner is going to generate uh, was able to generate that run thack and now is going to be able to clear off this tent trasher uh, yeah. if if old boy so chooses. Yeah, I guess the question is whether you want this shadow step now because you could you could bump into the two two shadow step play Vanessa prize plunder and then that that clears off the ten trasher but you also have a Jandis in hand right and you really want to shadow step that Jandis next turn certainly so but then if you're doing that right like this turn is very slow and and the best way you're going to do that is like 
with Wicked Stab to take out the 5-2, which you really, again, you don't want to be spending a Wicked Stab into a minion if you can help it. Gotcha. Or at least, uh, you know, I mean, it, you could, it, but this doesn't feel like a great opportunity to do that, right? So this is kind of an awkward scenario, just knowing how powerful that Janda Shadow Step turn is. Interesting. Looks Actually, like the, is going to commit this is the wicked be, stab. Yeah, that is going to be the. That, I, I mean, the more the more you think about it, just like Janda's Shadow Step is so powerful that it's really hard to get away from that. Right. Oh, we even can use the prize plunder and the weapon to clear off the two two and preserve the health on the on the Vanessa. And actually, I guess, and also just a way to sink all that mana. You know, right? Good. It was going to be yeah. stuck floating two mana. Uh, try to maintain a little bit of health. Obviously, we've talked about Samuro actually in the hand at this time for Shinigami. <laughs> is uh, yeah. Uh, but conditioning is going to come down, and I think this is probably going to be a Rokara play. Yeah, this just clears the board. You get you get a five four. You get to clear this off. And now if, if old boy wants to Jandis, which they're going to do because it's Jandis on six and you do it. Uh, okay, okay, neither of these have charge, but these are these are decent. Yeah. They're decent bodies. One one a little bit above the average five five, one a bit below the average of five five, and there's the immediate shadow step. And I, I really like yeah. the previous turn where Shinigami decided to develop Rokara, because Jandis, while extremely powerful from a stat standpoint, unless they hit something like you were alluding to with charge or rush or something like that, can be kind of vented. It does, she doesn't. Shinigami was able to get initiative with a extremely threatening minion, and now yeah. uh, Rokara is going to be able to buff up any. Actually, I'm looking at the hand now. There are no rush mains. Two troublemakers. Samuro. Well, there, there's there's Samuro, right? Samuro is yeah. a rush main, and, and that, this is the this is the decision, right? Because like, on the one hand, you could Samuro. Samuro will clear the board, most likely, because you can assume that the four four is the ghost. The other option is Koi Mut Mutinous, knowing that they have a Jandis in hand. Oh, true. I didn't even think about the coin mutinous possibility. Uh, is just going to try to take ironclad control of the board this turn, but there's a part yeah. of me that likes just getting mutinous online as, as early as possible. Yeah, and I mean, we can see that there's an Alex in hand too, so there was like a two and three chance of hitting something really good, but I mean, that board is also kind of threatening. So I, I don't, I, I'm not saying that what Shinigami's doing is wrong, and, and part of it is caster vision, mm -hmm. but you know, knowing for sure that there's a Jandis in hand, that had to at least be part of what was taking oh, that long. Oh. oh, yikes. This is a big yikes, Jandis. <laughs> this is an oh no, Jandis. A not like this, Jandis. <laughs> Blood Herald, no one likes you. Go home. No. <laughs> no, no, no redeeming qualities on the Blood Herald. <laughs> And no additional shadow steps or ten moves or anything available to try to rebuy on this Jandis. So it's just going to be. Yeah. I mean, at least there's a guaranteed ghost. <laughs> it's definitely the Blood Herald <laughs> yeah. every time. I, I mean, <laughs> this is not a difficult guessing game right now, <laughs> not at all. And and you know, again, and and two with two troublemakers in hand, this is a pretty easy decision. Mm -hmm. Again, I'm looking at Caster Vision with that Alex and and seeing a, a mutinous on curve and saying like, you know, that could be huge, but uh, you know, with a troublemaker and this board facing it down, that's not the play. Right. But, okay. oh, this is, this is awful now. Cause like you really need, you need to freeze, but you don't even get the damage off the brain freeze, but you need to play the swindle as old boy. Right. And an Ooh, interesting this side effect. better do work. This has to do a lot. Uh, okay. Primordial study. Now the primordial studies pool is extremely good right now. Uh, okay, well, <laughs> it's, uh, that one it, it's it's well it's a little bit worse if you're only if you only have neutrals. True. Like a lot of the really good spell damage minions are are in mage, and the neutrals are are good. They're not bad, but they're not they're not as good as when you get that in mage. Very true. And the second brain freeze is at least going to deliver some damage, but freezing troublemaker doesn't take away one of the more threatening parts of the troublemaker, just yeah. generating three threes every turn, and. Uh, I there, there's no way to know what this last card in Old Boy's hand is for Shinigami. Uh, no way to know if it's a creature or a spell, but it's been I, sitting there for a while and it hasn't been played. But then again, Old Boy's been spending all their mana, so yeah. But it's been in hand <laughs> since turn one, right? Like right. That Alex has been there forever. Uh, you're Could it not be a ten really, woo? I, mean, you, I mean, the thing is, you're not upset if it's a ten woo, right? Like, you're not upset if it's a ten woo. If it's ten woo, you're fine too. And even ten woo, you would have found a use for it, right? But I guess the the oh. argue, the, uh, yeah, the argument is just let's get a second troublemaker, and then you just win the game. Um, you right. know, and that's probably better t anyway. Um, I mean, you know, the 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 troll in me would have wanted to play the the mutinous there, of course. But, you know, I mean, either <laughs> way, I I think either one of those cards would have had the same effect, really, which which would have just been ending the game. So. Certainly. Um, but yeah, so so Shinigami able to to flip that around with the uh, with the Nazoth warrior, and now we have a one to one match. 
And so the the OTK Demon Hunter and the Miracle Rogue still remaining for Old Boy. The um, the Death Rattle Demon Hunter and the Miracle Rogue still remaining for Shinigami. So both of the both the warriors through. Yeah, we saw it's just one of the reasons why people are still enjoying to play Rush Warrior, right? Why people yeah. still, especially with the addition of, the, although we didn't really see a huge turtle impact in that last game, uh, it just seems like it can still do the old, the pre-expansion, the pre-release yeah. Rush Warrior stuff, which is still really powerful. And actually, it looks like it's going to be the De Battle of the Demon Hunters, OTK Demon Hunter versus Nazoth Demon, Death Ooh, Rattle Demon Hunter. And, and old boy with the Ilganoth in the opening mulligan, which is not what you want because it locks out the Skull of Gul'dan from the left for the entire game. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. You're going to have Oof. to figure out a way to either cast that on the right side. I mean, that's it. You're going to have to figure out how to cast that's, the skulls from yeah, the right side. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so. yeah. And meanwhile, and, on and Shinigami's we, and, side, and, yeah. yeah, go ahead. Uh, I was just gonna say, Shinigami has the opening now. Shinigami's got all those cards that cost, you know, three and less with the Razor Boar and the Beastmaster, are ready to go to start putting the pressure on the Demon Hunter, on the OTK Demon Hunter, I should say. I think more importantly, uh, Shinigami is mutinous in the opening hand. Oh my gosh! If that's hit, if that hits Ilganoth, that's pretty much it. It is not that, that's 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 game right there. Yes, yeah. it, it absolutely is, and and that's. This is kind of the reason that people were really excited about Mutinous when it got re when it got revealed because it gives you as a, not a priest <laughs> an option to be able to to disrupt some of these combo decks and Ilganoth being in the opening hand I would say it's probably going to be a while before we see um, Mutinous come out and it may miss but that's going to be something that's going to be on Shinigami's mind from turn seven on, I would imagine. Oh my gosh, oh, both skull skulls. Up a little, yeah, both skulls and both skulls going to be kind of buried in this hand. And, and, and this is kind of the dance that you're going to have, that you have to play as the OTK Demon Hunter player is like, how many of these resources can you afford to burn in the service of getting the rest of your, the rest of your combo online? I mean, we can play an Immolation Aura to at least like clear off the first, and, and we can even throw a Moorg into this, but we haven't found a philosophy yet. So that's going to be, you know, we're waiting on finding more and the and the philosophy in order to be able to do enough damage to combo. Yeah, and Shinigami's not interested in giving Old Boy any time to do that combo. Just no, no. Everything has three attack, and everything's just going to keep on. You know, you mentioned Immolation Aura, but the problem with these early minions, uh, we were talking about in the first game, they they have a tendency to replace themselves. So you you cast an Immolation Aura, and then free stuff just comes out like this. There's that delinquent with guaranteed initiative yeah. and there's the fishy flyer with guaranteed initiative and now actually old boy's going to take more damage after spending the immolation aura and, and I, I you know it's a very small thing but the order that shinigami played those is really important because playing the razor board before the um before the razor fem beastmaster meant that the the sneaky delinquent was going to get pulled out and it was not available for the beastmaster to pull so it was guaranteed to pull the fishy flyer so that's like a very, very small thing, but that maximized the odds that they were going to get full value out of those death rattles when they did get killed. Oh yeah, and a and a, a not insignificant payoff guaranteeing seven damage instead of only four or only yeah. three. And when you're trying to beat a deck that can go as fast as OTK Demon Hunter every single point, I mean, old boy down to 13 already, might have to start thinking about maybe spending a spell, a fell screen blast just to stay alive. Yeah, we're gonna we can use this uh, this ethereal og merchant at least to take three damage off the board. But yeah, we may not even have time to get to mutinous at this rate. Right. It's I mean Shinigami is not interested in letting off the gas at all. And with the draw no. of uh, Tail and Forging, if Shinigami ever runs out of stuff to do, I mean this is guaranteed to draw either Nazoth. Oh no, Nazoth is in hand already. It's, it's so Illidari Inquisitor. Yeah, and there's already one Illidari Inquisitor in hand. So like this is the full you know the full end game already available for shinigami and old boy's going to need to find some some real help in a hurry and may have to expend this moorg in the fell scream just to just to be able to stay out of range at this point gosh this divine show I mean, is so annoying when you're when all your healing is damage based right it's yeah oh the, it super is yeah and and like the only like the only like silver lining to this whole situation right now is that um, Shinigami has not found a Raging Fell Screamer because if that was the case, then this this Illidari Inquisitor could come down right now. Is this coin? Oh no, this is coin Death Speaker. I didn't see Death Speaker yeah. Blackthorn come into hand. I was like, this is the fastest coin Mutanus I've ever seen. But no, it's just Shinigami is making boards. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and this is two waves, right? Like the the Raging the uh, the Renowned Performer is going to drop two one ones. The Razor Boar is going to drop a three drop. 
and then the ra and then the the uh, the Razor Fen Beastmaster is going to drop. Well, it's not going to drop the Fishy Flyer, or, it's, or it could drop the uh, Sneaky Delinquent, if mm -hmm. which is a possibility too. And like we're still at twelve, we still can't play these skulls, and we're we're kind of starting to run out of time very quickly here. And I have to assume that this I beam is coming out just for because I'm I'm doing some math right here. Not my strongest suit, but that was three times four was twelve. And obviously we're gonna be using all Rocky War Blades to clean up as old boy, but it's yeah. it's thin. It's getting real thin. Talented Arcanist and Moarg Artifice are getting burned just for this huge uh, heal eighteen. So basically Reno's, but that yeah. was everything that. And now there's nothing but an Ilganoth and two skulls left in old boy's hand. Yeah, I mean, there is kind of the point that you can't win the game if you're dead. Fair. Right? That's a fair so, point. <laughs> <laughs> very difficult to win. <laughs> I, I know that's a, that's a very complex analysis that I just threw out there, but, you know. So, I mean, yes, these these are important in order to be able to uh, to combo, but at, le at least this Throwglaive will let uh, Shinigami remove some of this power from the board and can throw it into the Mancrick in order to be able to get this skull down this turn. So that's a little bit... That's probably the first good news that old, old boy's got in this game so far, because everything else has just gone upside down. Yeah, and so Raging Fell Screamer, Philosophy, and Double Jump the draws. Uh, double Jump a little bit. Double Jump a little bit less interesting when your uh, skull is kind of locked in there. Uh, and Mutantis is going to hit Ilganoth. Oh well, that's then that'll be it. Yep. If this was yep. a ladder game, that's an instant concede. Uh, <laughs> this is a and the well, the well played <laughs> from Shinigami. Yeah, and that's. <laughs> And that's it. And, and and that's what Mutinous is supposed to do. Mutanus? Is it Mutinous? Mutanus? I'm not sure. I've said it both ways, I think, over the course of the broadcast already. So just whatever feels we can, right. <laughs> we can just call him. Can we just call him Murray? Murray. Like, yeah. <laughs> Murray the Devourer. <laughs> but uh, but I mean, that's what it's supposed to do, right? Like, that's the goal. And, and having expended all of those resources, not having seen a, a, a philosophy, either hitting the second Moark or or the, the Ilganoth at that point, either one is game over. So, you know, it, enough information, seeing that car in the left all game, pretty much. And, and if, we, if it was anything other than Ilganoth in that situation, it probably would have been played. So, you know, perfectly fair for Shinigami to rip that Mutanis and, you know, it gets there. And now it's just the Miracle Rogue that needs to get there for uh, for Shinigami against either the OTK Demon Hunter or, uh, or win the Mirror. So uh this this will be the miracle rogue up against that otk demon hunter first i would imagine this is a little bit better of a matchup um for for old boy but still needs to be able to fend off all this all that aggression that can come out from the miracle rogue and there's some interesting technology inside shinigami's uh list they are extremely similar the two miracle rogues are however shinigami's playing a single copy of animated broomstick oh yeah uh which can it looks like uh, cutting an og merchant a guardian og merchant to make space for that and that the broomstick is just one of those cards that so many decks can find a use for it. It's it's one of the best like 29th or 30th cards I feel like in the game because you Jandis broomstick and all of a sudden your ghosts have board initiative to fight back. You Alex draws a broomstick, you take a trade and then shadow step uh, the Alex yeah, draws it. Yeah. So it's just really a lot of utility. Plus it it procs the the field contact right. So that's yes. the other benefit of it too. Like it, it has a little bit more valuable value in this deck specifically because it is a one man a one mana minion that procs um, that procs the, the field contact. So it has a little bit of extra utility there. And just being able to you usually end up with these really wide boards and being able to use them to trade off and protect the field contact or or you know or or what other other minion you're trying to protect. Usually that's what it is. Um, is is generally very valuable in that situation. And it's already there lurking on the far left side of Shinigami's hand, so we might even get to see if it's a difference maker. But old boy, first of all, let me just go ahead and say, not having the skull locked out is just a whole new... Now, now oh, the, the dynamic changes. Game. Yeah, <laughs> the, yeah. The, the dynamic changes to what am I willing to dump from the left side of my hand to guarantee the outcast skull from the left? You know, I-beams, you can obviously use I-beams to win alongside Ilganoth, but... If you need to get rid of those to make room for a skull, you absolutely can. Yeah, yeah, and 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 just able to draw freely, and it, it just opens up your options a lot more as the OTK Demon Hunter player. Like having the Ilganoth on the left is just it's it's completely disastrous. Um, but you know, and and old boy at least is able to cycle through still, but starting to run out of the cycle, and having a little bit of trouble finding something to do there. I would imagine that that um, that Illidari Studies is going to be earmarked for next turn. On six mana, they'd be able to Illidari Studies to get the discount on on the card, and then they can Skull for five. Um, so just going to try to 
keep this board under control, keep the field contact from going off. And this this is setting up for a lot of damage if old boy can find the rest of the pieces that they need. It's, this is like all the supporting players, but none of the stars. Yeah, everybody's lurking in the trailers for the time being. <laughs> and the, the yeah. crowd is starting to get restless, the crowd in this case being Shinigami. Uh, we already see some combo pieces coming into hand for the Rogue with Tenwu of the Red Smoke and Alex Straza both available. Oof. All it's going to take is an Octobot discount or some Shadow Steps or something, and all of a sudden, Shinigami can put together a super wombo combo of their own. Yeah, and, and really good timing on that Cult Neo fight locking out the skull turn or in this case the eldari studies into skull turn um and and kind of delaying that for one point for one turn further the the i beam will answer the cult neo fight and prevent that from being shadow stepped at least for or i guess ten would in this case in the time for the time being and prep secret passage is going to try to find some gas here for shinigami with not really any other plays on the horizon yeah, for all of the utility, or for all of the powerful cards in Shinigami's hand, not a whole lot to do this Ooh. turn. Oh, draws Mancrick's uh, dead wife. That's, you know, uh, not not exactly what yeah. uh, what you're hoping to see on your secret passage. And just going to rebuy, just going to be like, all right. Yeah, let's roll again. One mana, let's do it again. And the roulette wheel this time brings up Wicked Stab. Swindle is a great yeah. pickup. Vanessa Van Cleef, is that a great pickup? I'm a, uh, that's an I-beam, I, I think. Now? Yeah, I think you're right. I think it's an I-beam, so. I don't hate an I-beam. No. Um, it's not really what I'm looking for out of out of my Vanessa Van Cleef. I think probably the second. Well, I, you you do have a Foxy Fraud right now to be able to to kind of get out of your hand and build board, and it's just a matter of I, I think I would probably rather have the Swindle. Yeah. Get the second Swindle just to have more cards in hand for next turn. Can I? Um, though, though it looks like Shinigami's eyeing the the Vanessa instead. Can I sell you on a Foxy Fraud Swindle Shadow Step Foxy Fraud Foxy Fraud again Vanessa Van Cleef? <laughs> for just a whole um, bunch of prestidigitation. <laughs> <laughs> Do we have that kind of time? I don't think oh, we have time for that now, right? Yeah. Like, Fair point. Know, we, we, got, we got stuff to do. We don't have time for that kind of nonsense. Yeah, and a much healthier hand now for Shinigami. Not a huge board tempo turn, but every single one of these cards, adding cards uh, into Ooh. the hand for Rogue. Old Boy faced with Vile Fiend Trainer, Kurtris Ashfall, and Star Student Stalina. Yeah, both of those on the right are, are kind of interesting. Kurtris would at least answer a couple of things on this board. Stalina might be able to get rid of an important card that's in the hand. I mean, we can see the Alex is in hand, the Alex Tenmu combos in hand right now. And that might be something that would be appealing to try to get rid of. And that looks like Ooh, it is yeah. going to be the pick. I was. I felt like the responsible choice was Kurtris, but I wanted Star Student Stalina. <laughs> That's the one. Yeah. I, oh, and can actually go ahead and throw back this Alex Straza. Can throw back a Wicked Stab. Could even throw back a Cram Session, though that seems like the uh, least yeah. impactful of everything in here. I, I, I would like to get rid of the scary dragon lady. That would be what I would like to do. But, that's, that's the direction know, I'm, I'm leading. Wicked, <laughs> so. But Wicked Stab is also is also scary in its own way too. Um, but I mean, knowing that Alex is in the hand, and you really haven't seen any Octobots yet. You know, throwing that back into the deck seems like it would be... And it is going to throw back the Wicked Stab. I guess the Wicked Stab is more useful now. The Alex is still... Uh, you know, it is going to take a couple turns to get online. True. Var barring any discounts. Yeah, that's right. And there's a chance that Old Boy's uh, OTK Demon Hunter will have OTK'd before Alex Straza can be played for full retail anyway. And like you said, no Octobots yeah. having been played so far. And it looks like a, a wicked stab off the top. <laughs> sure, <laughs> sure. <Yeah. laughs> uh, kind of an awkward but, turn but, here. Yeah. I guess we're just going to really, cram. Yeah. Okay. Well, we get we can cram session that draws that draws angry man crick. That's a little bit more damage. Uh, we get a Vanessa. Vanessa could get a Stalina, and which is not you can't play it this turn, which is a little bit awkward because it needs the outcast in order to do the thing. But just imagine sending this Ilganoth back, especially if you can, if there was a way to debt to guarantee that it becomes card 30, <laughs> that would be a... Right. Uh, I think like actually, and also a not insignificant body in the 2-3 there, and of course generates, oh, it's oh. actually a Chaos. Oh, it's, it's a, a chaos, chaos Strike, strike. okay, right. my bad. I, I, I was focused on the Selena, but I forgot the Chaos Strike was after that. Interesting, gonna go ahead and set up the Shadow Step Tenwu for the future. So on 10 mana, gonna be able to Alex Straza for nine, Tenwu of the Red Smoke. Uh, for zero, Alex Straza for one again. So only yep. so old boy has effectively minus sixteen life for the rest of the game. Yes. Um, throw glaive doesn't like none of these really do much. Like this is this is probably like we just kind of we kind of stalled out here. Yeah. Right. Like we've got a got we've got a handful of combo pieces, a philosophy with no targets, and a throw glaive that isn't killing anything without. 
spending some of this um some of the spell damage on something i mean you could right like you could ethereal odd merchant the um the vanessa or the man right yeah. but you, you you ought to be killing that if that's what you're doing with your life okay actually just gonna um, spend yeah. a hero power it looks like gonna gonna take quite a bit of the attack power off the board still yeah. three man crick damage though and like we like we were talking just a little while ago free 10 of the red smoke means that uh once you get once we get to turn yeah. 10 old boy's taking 16. yeah and old boy knows that that's in the hand too like they they know the alex is there because they saw it with the stelina so they know that alex tenwu is is in their future on turn nine or on turn 10 i suppose so there's there's like one more turn to be able to find a skull or find some sort of draw to to get this thing this thing turned around or old boy's going to be out of this tournament that's a great point the with the second shadow step in hand alex straza coming down on nine and then being shadow stepped oh, means yeah. that we can do combination alex straza tenwu the red smoke and wicked stab just super oh. damage uh, on and, the 10 and if that's turn. not enough how do, how would a mask of cthune sound to you i feel like i'm interested in damage and i understand that <laughs> mask of cthune's got the word damage printed on it yeah 10 times actually i'm interested <laughs> yeah this this illadari studies needs to pull a skull it needs to pull a skull right now i think or we're or we're committing a lot of the spell damage to a fell scream blast which we may have to do anyway I would I would be very surprised if it's not a start with Illidari studies this turn. Yeah. And I'm looking. I mean, you at just the, see what's in the box, right? Like, yeah. Because if it's a skull, then you can rip the skull and then reassess. Uh, and the skull will only well, you'll have spent six mana for a skull, but it will be guaranteed in the outcast position. I guess. I mean, I feel like old boy is not doing that because thinking about possibly playing out the talented arcanist and the og merchant to just super fell scream for a bunch of yeah. spell damage on fell scream, but no, it's going to be a spectral sight. Ooh, Skull of oh, Skull of no. first. Oh. Oh, okay, well, I guess I guess you could still do it, right? Like, you could still felt... I mean, the problem is you're discounting, which is is pretty much certain death. Oh, yeah, that's right. The Octobot. Uh, so I want to amend my earlier statement about my interest in Cthune and the Mask of Cthune, only if I don't have to pay full retail for it. Am I interested? Yeah. Well, I, I mean, I know that you do you do love your deals. I do. Right? <laughs> I prefer the best right. deals anywhere. Oh my gosh, yeah. another huge heal. But like you said, so many combo yeah. pieces committed. Fell Screen Blast, uh, the Talented Arcanist, and Ethereal Og Merchant all spent on that one. Yeah. But again, you can't combo if you're dead. So right. <laughs> and Mask of Cthulhu is going to start. Is going to is going to put us right back where we started. Clears this board back within combo range. Old Boy has a skull. They need to get something that they can play alongside it to be able to hopefully that's cheap and it doesn't need targets because if it's anything that's targeted if it's the i beam or whatever then we're just playing the skull on un 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 outcasted which we need those discounts right now yeah as old boy and i mean from where we're sitting we can see i mean if shinigami doesn't play any doesn't play any creatures this turn and and there's no reason for them to want to right like, right uh, then that means old boy has to play oof. creatures and fell screen blast his own oh, creatures this this is tragic because you really want a philosophy this this moart but then it ends up on the right so, uh, oh i mean you have to you, you have, have to play to. it <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah that, that's so rough but it, and it's also using up the fell screamer discount when you're doing that all oh, this is like i i'm not even playing the game i want to cry looking at that draw yeah and from where Oof. you know we we covered the the rogue combo but from where we're sitting we can pretty much see it's over except for the crying unless yeah. old boy specifically spends a bunch of stuff healing over 16. old yeah. boy must get above 16 and, and, to survive and not even gonna try to see what's in there and and old boy is just gonna gonna give it up and shinigami is going to progress forward to the semifinals. gosh what a what a series and you know we, we were talking a little bit about otk demon hunter if you're great at otk demon hunter you can beat the odds i've definitely heard some people say that otk demon hunter versus rogue can be extremely difficult you know depending on tech cards we saw how effective cult neophyte for example just locking out a skull turn is just you know you play the neophyte into turn six if they haven't if they haven't played military studies yeah and it just throws a monkey wrench in everything slows everything down yeah and it just buys you that turn right and that's that's the turn that like that just getting that little bit of time is really all you need but i mean also old boy couldn't find the skull in time right and then when they did find the skull they found off the spectral site which wasn't helpful because it was the second card drawn you know couldn't get it couldn't get it played out with the outcast in time and just 
Yeah, and and the draws that are in between were just they were backbreaking. Definitely. And 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 having you know and and I want I do wonder going back to that Selena whether sending Alex might have been correct, right? Because that right. was that was kind of the piv the pivotal point of that game was you had that choice with this with the star student Selena to send back the wicked stab or the Alex and old boy could have sent back the Alex but decided to send back the wicked stab I mean it didn't matter because they drew it back next turn could have been the same thing with the Alex right but but maybe putting it into the deck and not having that guaranteed 16 damage with the with the shadow step Tenwu might have might have given old boy a, a, maybe another turn might have been all in, all they needed right and uh, so with that, we are actually going to be able to pick up another match going on in the top eight. It is going to be the match that's in progress between Taco Cat and Super Chicken. Uh, we're going to be jumping into that one. The score currently sitting at zero and one in favor of Super Chicken. Uh, just a battle of the animals. <laughs> battle of yeah. the animals right there. And uh, I do want to do a quick shout out to our sponsors who are making all this possible. Although at the moment, they're kind of making me sweaty <laughs> because of the, 